okay in this video we continue our discussion on properties of cut sets in this video we are going to prove this statement every circuit in a graph so every circuit or every cycle in a graph has an even number of edges in common with any cut set okay so every cycle in a graph or a circuit in a graph has an even number of edges in common with any cut set so before proving let's look at an example okay so let's consider this graph g okay and uh, here i listed the three cut sets s1 s2 s3 and s4 okay you can see that these four are cut sets okay and one cycle c1 okay which goes something like this e4 e7 e6 e3 okay so let's count the number of uh, edges common with uh, uh, c1 and each of these uh, cut sets okay so let's consider s1 and c1 okay so here we can see that e1 it doesn't appear here and e2 doesn't appear here so uh, number of edges common with this cycle and s1 is zero okay it's an even number so let's look into the other thing so how many edges are common with s2 and c1 so e1 is not in c1 okay e3 is there okay so e3 is there e3 e5 is not there e6 is there e6 so the two edges okay, again you can see that even so e3 and e e6 are common uh, with this cut set and this cycle c1 okay so let's look into this thing s3 c1 s3 okay e8 is not here e7 is there okay e7 is there e6 is there okay so we have two common uh, edges and again we can see that that is even and let's look uh, how many common edges are there between this s4 and uh, and c1 okay so e4 okay e4 is there okay e5 is not there e7 is there okay and e8 is not there again two which is even okay so that says seems like this statement is true so anyway we are going to prove this every circuit in a graph has an even number of edges in common with any cut set so this is true for any cycle in the graph okay you can try with different cycles in this graph okay and consider uh, other cut sets as well okay so let's go and prove uh, the statement okay Okay, so let S be a cut set in a connected graph. G. Okay, since S is a S is a cut set, uh, if you remove this S from G, the graph will become disconnected. Okay. and what we could do is uh, we collect all the vertices in uh, one connected component and all the vertices in the other component okay so that will form a pa partition so if we take the union we will get the entire vertex side and intersection between uh, those two okay uh, will be empty okay so you can see that the removal So already we discussed this kind of thing uh, in the definition video of cut sets. Okay, the removal of this vertex S, yes, it partition the vertex set V of the graph. Okay, and let this graph be say V. Okay, so removal of S partition. V into two disjoint subsets. So 
So it will only participate into two disjoint subsets. Okay, we already proved a statement related to that in a previous video. So removal of partitions partition B into two disjoint subsets. Okay, let's say those subsets are V1 and V2. Okay, that says okay this V the vertex set of this graph will it will be equal to V1 union V2 and also V1 intersect V2 is equal to the empty set. Okay, or maybe diagrammatically it can be represented like this. Okay, the, we have our original graph. Now, after deleting that S, it got partitioned into two. Okay, let me say V1 and V2. Okay, and in V1, we have this connected graph. Okay, maybe something like this. Okay, and here again we have another connected component. Okay. And if you look at this set S, yes, we can see that the edges in this set has one endpoint in V1 and another endpoint in V2. Okay, so these are the edges that causes because they are crossing this boundary okay so that corresponds to something like this okay so this is our s and this s okay it, uh, splits the graph into two okay having vertex at v1 and vertex at v2 okay so this is the situation and let's go and pull the statement every circuit in a graph G has an even number of edges in common with any cut set. So with respect to this S, okay, every uh, circuit or cycle is going to have even number of edges. Okay. Okay, so let C be a cycle. Cycle or a circuit in G. Okay, here we need to consider three cases. Okay, first case is uh, what is going to happen when this C lies entirely within V1. Okay, another case is entirely within V2. Okay, they are symmetrical. And other case is okay, some portion of this cycle uh, lie here and some portion lie here. So in that case, uh, we need to go back and forth okay, between this V1 and V2 using this edges. Anyway, that is the idea behind this particular proof. Anyway, so we are trying to prove that uh, even number of edges in common with any cut set. Okay, so if you start from here, so if uh, if our circuit C starts from here, okay, then we have to use this edge, maybe something like the go to this one. Then here you go through some other thing. Okay, then after that, anyway, you have to come back to complete the cycle, right? So something like one. So one means if you start your cycle from here. Okay, if uh, one means coming here, then using some edges. Okay, then two corresponds to going back. Okay, then using some vertices here. Okay, then three means you are here. Okay, so four means you are back here. Okay, so it means uh, uh, if we start from here, then only after visiting even number of edges here, you will be back here. Okay, so that's the idea here. Okay, so let's look at different cases here. So if all the vertices of C lies entirely within one of okay one of these VIs, either V1 or V2, okay, in that case we can see that there is no common edges between uh, that cycle and this S set. Okay, so in that case zero edges common, zero is an even number. Okay, so let me write down what I said. If all the if all the vertices vertices of C lie entirely okay, within one of the vertex set, okay, either V one or V two, within one of the 
and now the buttock set v1 or v2 then the number of edges common with uh, <coughs> this cycle c and s is zero okay then the edges okay edges of c are different from uh, the edges in s okay because they do not have any common the circuit is entirely within this v1 or v2 so there is nothing common with uh, this s okay and with the, then the edges of c are different from from those of yes okay so in that case we can see that therefore in that case the number of edges common to s and c is zero okay zero is an even number okay so therefore in that case the number of edges common to s and c is zero okay any one number okay so we proved that case okay so for that case uh, <coughs> common number of edges common between a circuit or a cycle and a cut set is even which is equal to zero okay we consider the case where the c lies entirely within this v1 or v2 okay we can see that there is no common thing with this thing okay so if that is not the case then okay because this kind of situation is going to happen so if that is not the case Okay, suppose that we start from here. Okay, then uh, okay we must move to this one. Okay, then after that, okay, maybe we use some edges here. Okay, that won't count uh, in that thing. Then after that, you have to come back. Okay, suppose that we are moving in this direction. Okay, from here, from here, okay, then. Yeah. Okay. Then after that, you know, we have to exit anyway. I exit this V two to come back to V one. If we start from V one, okay. The other argument is also symmetric. If you start from here, the same kind of situation will hold. So then you come back to V two. Then from here, okay, you will go through some other vertices here. Okay. Something like that. Then after that, okay. Now uh, we are in the even case. So now, okay. Number of edges common is three in this case, so that is odd. So if that is the situation, then okay, we will be here. We two that won't form a circuit. Okay, from here again, uh, we have to use some. Okay, we use the edges uh, that are part uh, of this V two. Then after that, anyway, you have to come back to V one. So we have to use an edge something like this. Okay, then after that. Can you complete this cycle or something like that? Okay, so here we can see that number of edges will be like one, two, three, four. Okay, always even kind of thing. If we start from here, okay. Similarly, you can also say if you start from here, same kind of situation will hold. So the odd number of cases you will be on the other partition. Okay, and even number we are in the same partition and things like that. And uh, because of the nature of this cycle, then we need to have even number of uh, back and forth traversal between this V1 and B two. Okay, anyway, that's the idea. So let me write down what I said. Okay, if this is not the case, if some vertices vertices in C are in B one, and some are in B two. Okay, then during 
traversing sea okay traversing that cycle see okay we need to go back and forth okay between between the sets v1 and v2 okay and that's what we saw here okay start from here okay uh, when while traversing if you go this way then you you submit this here then you have to come back okay then you have to go to v2 come back etc okay something like that and since we are dealing with a cycle here and the cycle is closed kind of thing so if you start from here uh, any vertex here okay now to complete the cycle you need to come back to this thing right so that says uh, if you move to this one that corresponds to the odd number of edges kind of thing okay you come back it will become even and so forth okay so so because of the closed nature of a cycle the number of edges traversed between okay this b1 and v2 must be even okay and the, that's it and also and also we can see that every edge in has also every edge in s has one end vertex okay one end in b1 and the other end and the other end in b2 okay and again we can see that i know other edge in g has this property and no other edge in g has this property of separating sets okay v1 and v2 okay okay this property so the only the edges uh, uh, belong to s has this property one end point in b1 and another end point in b2 okay so the number of edges common to s and c is even okay and that's it and thus in any connected graph every cycle or circuit has an even number of okay adjust in common with any cut set okay has even number of adjust in common with any cut set okay and that's it that's the proof okay so we proved uh, this statement every circuit in a graph g has an even number of edges in common with any cut side.